Okay, real quick, just want to say I took a clonazepam. Uh, I'm now taking two per day uh, for a total of one milligrams. And um, that means in another 12 hours, if I can make another 12 hours, um, I will have four days of taking two. And uh, the pill is in the process of kicking in. I don't feel that tired right now, but it's possible I might feel the need to go to sleep. But uh, basically, uh, the pill will be fill fully kicked in. Uh, it's an anti-anxiety, but it makes you sleepy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it, it will fully be in effect sometime during this video. So that's, that's just what I'll say. Before I thought uh, the, the clonazepam helped uh, with the guitar in some fashion, I think when I was doing that I was drinking coffee or Coca-Cola in addition to taking the clonazepam. But I'm noticing right now, well, the, the washer dryer's on, computer's processing, uh, but basically uh, I, I I'm not picking up the notes and layers as much. Um, when I go from... Yeah, that... Well, I don't know. Just... I, I heard it now, but before I didn't hear it, so... Uh, anyways, my point is, I think it is a weakness uh, to... It definitely doesn't make you play better, at least. That's just what I'm saying. Starts on the third, I think. Yes. So for this we go like this. You know, with two mutes, unless I actually figured out a way to mute um, with my thumb without messing up how my fingers are performing, uh, with two mutes, I don't think that's really meant to be for a strum. I think it's more for like, like you could have that, that progression as part of a sound. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know the, what you would call it. Um, I'm sure there's all kinds of words and stuff, but some things are intuitive, I guess. Um, I don't want to make myself out to be, yeah, it's, it's kind of lazy to not know what the mainstream definition of uh, a form of, like, a, a aspect of music is. So yes, the clonazepam is definitely kicking in. I don't think it's fully kicked in yet, but we will see what will happen as I continue with this guitar. <laughs>
makes a bit more sense as, as a swarm. I think I actually did that right for the first time. I'm not going to check because I, if I check, I'll just forget. In my mind, I, I've already forgotten. <laughs> that use all the fingers like uh, that was G major and the C minor that I was doing earlier that uses all the fingers uh, they really tax they really tax your fingers uh, like I think the fastest way to develop calluses is to um, just do those because like a simple chord like that. I guess I've just been working on that for like almost a month. So um, that I've got the calluses or whatever. Um, they're in that. So I noticed the last video, or the video before it, I wasn't doing the lessers. I think I was. The lesser notes. Anything from the main thing? No. Yes. Okay. How are we doing this, like? So this is C7, and it's almost completely open. Oh man, yeah, that really taxes me. Uh, I'm I shouldn't say tax is like an insult. I mean, well, I, I'm not really. I'm, I'm, it taxes me, and it's good that it taxes me, because I get better because of the tax. And A7. C7, D7, C7, G7, G minor. And this is, you're not meant to strum three strings. I'm sure some people do, but... I just, I just know that's not... 
I don't know. I don't know. There's not a right way or wrong way. If you can do it in a way that sounds good, and I'm not an authority, and I probably sound drunk, but I'm not drunk. I'm on clonazepam, and clonazepam shows many of the same properties as alcohol. Um, and also, I think I was speaking less... Uh, I want to use a big word, but I'll just say I was speaking less drunk <laughs> than I was. <laughs> gives me the fear of when I actually do get down to zero milligrams, which I hope is in my psychiatrist's agenda, uh, that uh, it will be uh, difficult for me. And it's only been ten minutes, a screensaver. It's been enough time, pretty much Pretty much now is when the pill is kicked in. So I don't know why it's only been 11 minutes I've talked and strummed, and as far as I can tell, I've done all of the chords on my chart, which might mean I need more chords, or it might mean I should just repeat myself. <laughs> like no matter where I hold my hand something will be a little bit off during the string. Uh, I don't know if I should try to brute force memorize that. Uh, but yeah, so, so D seems simpler if I start from D7. Start from D7 to indicate what D7 is, then go into, no that's not it, go into D major, goes into D minor most intuitively. I'm using intuitive a lot. Is this D minor? No, this has to be D minor. Okay, I'm just 
doing Jun Yuen Peng right there. So, uh... It's like... Now the whole thing, like, I don't know if you know about skateboarding. Um, most of you probably know something, but the thing is, like, you're... If you're going to skateboard, you're eventually going to fall and you're going to hurt yourself. That's just a given. So if you want to get good at skateboard, you have to know you're going to fall and hurt yourself. And I guess with guitar, it's similar, only slightly less masochistic, because with skateboarding, your entire body is in r r danger. But with guitar, like, you kind of want to purposefully press a chord in a certain way that you will feel pain, like, I guess if you wanted to go really slow, there would be a way, maybe you can buy like really nice strings or something, um, but yeah, you're developing calluses, and like I said in the last video, I don't know if going like this, like that doesn't really hurt, um, Doing that wasn't the full thing. Okay, so doing that, I think that um, develops calluses pretty like the the fact that I'm going along with the, the string like that. The string is like callousing me. I think just I'm basing that just on the fact that for some unknown reason, maybe it's biology, my index finger has the most calluses. And uh, the index finger is what I've been using for this part. Uh, so, I just thought, like, if I start using my middle finger, You know, if you don't understand what I'm saying, it's either because you don't understand my voice, or, I don't know, I just, I have this, uh, maybe it's an internalized weakness that I always have to feel like I'm fully understood. Maybe it's because, like, I, I go delusional sometimes, and um, people react to me in ways that's, like, I, I, for, for me, I'm making sense, but to them, I'm sounding crazy. So, when I'm not, like, actively crazy, um, I over-explain things, because I assume people don't know. Uh, yeah, and I hope that makes sense. So, there you go. <laughs> She's very nice. She says, uh, my delusions always make sense to her. Um, like, she knows they're wrong, but she understands the thought process. Um, uh, who cares? No one cares about that. to be muted, but I don't care, it sounds just as good. And, and of course, if you do it one at a time, it makes a little bit less sense to have that sticking around. But with it, just, that's fine, that's like, it's like the, ba the bass string is like a backup vocal, or like backup guitar back at the base, obviously. Uh, I 
I've been going by the theory that every time you fall asleep after practicing, uh, your brain works out what happens and then you get better the next day. Someone told me that. It was very inspirational. And uh, I'm not sure it happened this time. Um, I think I am making progress, but it's not the... Like, for, for a few days I was like, fall asleep, wake up, whoa, I'm way better! But it's not, that's not happening right now, in my opinion. You, like, I'm supposed to not speak, so you form your own opinion, but I, I'm, I don't have any friends, let me talk. <laughs> I forget what I was even saying. Oh yeah, the sleep thing. Um, so... You're supposed to like game, like level up like a video game uh, every time you sleep, and uh, I think I got a good good rest. It was six hours in the evening and six in the morning, six hours in the six hours of sleep in the morning. There, over explained. Okay, so uh, I think I got a good enough rest based on that, um, but. I don't feel like superhero better, uh, and that's fine. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm already. I, I must remember there was a point in time where all I could do. The, this is the only thing I could do for like weeks, and without, that's without even the amp, so sounding even worse. And wearing headphones, so I can't hear what I sound like. So, I, and before that I thought like, oh, I have this guitar. Yeah, guitar's impossible, I can't play guitar. So, I have to keep in mind that from that point, I've come to the point where I know a few, I know that's E minor, I think that's E major, yes, oh, ha ha, and E, E7. So I know those three at least. And this is A7. A7. Uh, this is. Oh, I don't know if this is A minor or A major. A major. I'm good. A major. Yes, it's A major. Okay, yes. And this is A minor. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so... See my fingers there? Basically, one, two, three. Uh, that's E major. But then just one, one like, set of strings down. Same position, same thing. That's A, ma a minor. Right? Yes. So, that's weird. <laughs> uh, and... I'd really have to look... I'd have to, like, read a book and the diagrams and all that to figure out all the, like... I think you're supposed to know every note, like... What note is that? I don't know. I don't... I don't know if I need to know. I know if I were in a band, um, they'd be like, Hey, buddy! I feel <laughs> my picture is like we're all sleazy guys. And he's like, Hey, play a D. And I'll play something to over the top of that. But that's what would happen in my band. And, uh, and so I'd play an E. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, play the other E. And I'm like, I don't know the other E! Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, so for a band, you would need to know all the notes. Like, uh, all the chords, all the notes. Uh, which, um, my friend says guitar is a lifelong learning process. And that makes sense based on the fact that I found a website that claims to have 2,000 chords. And it makes sense based on the fact that some of these chords, like, I had a C minor that was basically like this, which I can bear, 
I can barely even attempt to demonstrate. Uh, <laughs> maybe I was just, maybe there's a different way to arrange your fingers. But uh, yeah, I was like, no, I don't think, I don't think I can do that. But if I like forced myself to like warp my hand through bending my muscles, which I think you are supposed to do, um, eventually I could play that. So if there's like 2,000 chords, um, minimum, I guess, uh, yeah, I can see it being lifelong. With all, like, if a chessboard has what? It's 12 by 12. So a chess is supposed to have infinite variations. And I guess there's different pieces which add flavor to the mix. But like this, blah, blah, blah. So yes, uh, I think it could, yeah, it could take as long as you had to be alive. Not necessarily infinite time, but infinite human lifetime. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Now I feel morbid and a sense of impending death. Uh, and I'm sorry for being so talky towards the end. There, 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 hear it, hear it, hear it.